if you were born after 1956, guess what? You are younger than my chief guest for today, which is the Vita Classic Shade Guide. Now, remember, friends, every tooth has three virtues. There is the hue, which is the color. There is the chroma, which is the saturation. And then there is the value, which is the level of brightness or dullness of a particular shade. Vita Classic Shade Guide was designed on the basis of hue and chroma with very little value to value. Okay, so now what is A? A, B, C, D is basically your hue, which is the color. And A1, A2, A3. So 1, 2, 3 is your chroma. A is basically teeth that are in the brownish shade. B is teeth that are in the yellowish shade. C is grayish teeth. And D is grayish red teeth. So that is basically the hue. All right. And when you talk about one, two, three and four, you're going from a lighter tooth to a darker or a more saturated or a more chromatic tooth. Now, remember, the problem with the Vita Classic Shade Guide is I have to choose the hue, chroma and value all of these in one single step. And it's very, very challenging. Having said that, value is the single most important virtue when we talk about shade matching. And unfortunately, our Vita Classic Guide does not work with that principle. So here I'm sharing with you another prescription, which is a value based prescription, which is something that's better than the conventional arrangement, because here you go from the brightest to the dullest. And what you need to do is work with a black and white picture. All right. So hold your shade tab against the tooth and take a picture and give it a monochromatic look. The shade tab, which basically merges with the underlying tooth shade in black or white tones, is the one that is most suitable and should be your shade match. All right, so always match your shade with a picture where you take a conventional photo, all right, two, three shade tabs, and then go back and give it a black and white look. And the one that merges best in the black and white picture is the one you should choose. All right, now I'm going to make your life simpler with the use of the Vita Classic Shade Guide. I'm presenting one more arrangement of the Vita Classic Shade Guide, which is to do with the most commonly prescribed shades. The most common on one side, the least common on the other side. This is the prescription that we normally send to our laboratories. Can we make our life simple? And the answer is yes. I'm going to eliminate half of these shades. The ones that we normally never prescribe. If they are there, it adds confusion to my life because more the choices, the more irritated I am because now my mind is constantly confused. Lesser number of shade tabs allows you to choose your shade even better. So try doing this with your shade guides. Keep only eight shade tabs. The others, just eliminate. Don't throw them. You might need it for one or two cases and they should be there with you uh, in your inventory. Making life even simpler. Let me tell you, friends, 70% of human teeth go into the A cluster, 25% into the B cluster, and only 5% make up C and D. So concentrate more on A and B and you'll almost always get it right. Making it even simpler for anterior teeth, usually it is A2, A3 shade. And for a posterior, it is usually A3.5. Remember, if your patient is usually about 40 or if you have a patient who's, who's, a, who's a part of the coffee culture, this patient is either already in a darker, more chromatic shade or is eventually getting there. So always err on the side of a slightly higher chroma uh, than otherwise. So these are small tips and tricks, friends, to make your life easy with the use of the Vita Classic Shade Guide. Join me next Tuesday as I talk to you about the 3D Master Shade Guide.